Yes, once again, my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, why am I doing this on the 26th of December, the day after Christmas? The day after a great man was born according to the scripture by the name of Jesus Christ. A well-known name all over the world of Christianity in many different walks of life and languages and nationalities. But then when he was taken away from the earth, nailed on the cross, his message is still revealing today. So for all the politicians, all the corrupt leaders around the world, all the innocent killing and the treating of poor innocent people, the raping of women, the enslaving of others, there will be a new horizon not long from now. As we have seen in America, the political landscape has changed. I went back to the beginning of America, the birth of the United States of America, from the four parents who create the America. And today we have seen a businessman by the name of Donald J. Trump, who came up and defeated 17 men, congressmen, governors, and not forgetting Miss Hillary Rodham Clinton, seasoned politician, lawyers. Is this a mystery or this will go down in history? Is this a miracle or this is the hands of the Almighty to say they are better yet to come? Listen to the name of the man, Donald J. Trump. I want to say D for determination, J for, J, sorry, it's DT, D for determination, J for justification, and T for truth. There you have it. Determination, justification, and truth. He have destroyed politicians who have vision and have the answer and was in Congress and was in political office for many of years but had no answer. But suddenly when he arrived, they all find a solution and an answer. But God had it planned and he born to do this. He's the first man also went to the United Nations and told the leaders of a hundred and something country he was elected to rule America and to make it great again. And he was elected by the people of America, which means not by the rigging of a ballot box, the minute of a gun, the killing of innocent people because they do not support you, the disappearance of fathers and family. The time has changed. Today you have Donald J. Trump, the leader of America, a democratic society, the police of the world. And today again, he gave a blow to the international community when the vote against him in the UN for what he proposed for Jerusalem. Now, even defeat them by telling them the truth, by taking away 300 and something million dollars from the pocket of the UN. And the ambassador that representing the great granddaughter of India, the peace and non-violence country by the name of Mahatma Gandhi, a great granddaughter from that land, who was the governor of the Carolina, South or not, now the ambassador of the United Nations make a delicate speech to all. America shall and will remember the day. And America cannot upkeep you and pay the bill and you disrespect, which means they are paying you to disrespect them. So they're going to remember it. And so did Mr. Trump, President Trump, the honorable, slash 300 or something million from the UN. So the world is at war. I want to play this song dedicated again from the late Bob Marley. Not to worry, because everything going to be all right. Enjoy while I continue.
Well, there you have it, not to worry, every little thing, and it's going to be all right. So for you in Guyana, here we have a soldier, once a soldier, now the leader of the country, and he's trying his best. Let's give him the opportunity and call upon him to do what is right for humanity. And as I said, there's a lot of square pegs in the wrong hole, and he must also weed them out. And we must stand at his corner, not to betray him the way they betray Desmond Height. I remember the late Desmond Height was supporting the call and returned back everything to Guyana that was banned by the late Foss Burnham. And when he get power, he bring them back. He left the man. And he started to hang people for kicking down the doors. According to information, if I'm right, he hung 18 or 19. They said they were all black. And they were very happy because 19 or 18 black men was hanged for the crime they had committed. But if I have to judge the crime in Guyana, more Indians commit more crime than the blacks because you laugh and talk with your brother and rob him. You take him to court for his own property, his own things. You bribe the judge the lawyer and some corrupt politician, and I'm talking to you, the Indian people, you may not like it, but it's the truth. It's the truth. But you are not getting hung and you're not in jail because you are the most corrupt one guy and I got. You are the one who tried to hide in the corner and you even hire people to defeat your own brother, poison them, shoot them, make it look like an accident, lock them up. And we have a lot of vindictive Indian in opposition and maybe a few in the government who feel they can do what they like as they like when they like and how they like but what they have to understand don't worry everything going to be all right and every man have a day and a time so therefore if that is what you go there to do then you're no different from the man who don't know to read and write and rob the man and kill him and rape his family you are the biggest criminal because you use the law to justify your crime while using the police and the army to cover your filth, you should be ashamed of yourself. So I call upon our Honorable Leader David Granger to examine his cabinet and to see who are the ones that are giving trouble and weed them out. And if they have been accused of a crime and been tried, let the law of the land do what has to be done. And no stone must go unturned until you get justice. No man or woman must escape it when you hurt innocent people. Especially when you use judges to deny justice to people who oppose you because you were wrong and you deny the people justice. Lock them up. Criminalize them. Seize their property and give it to your friend and family because you are the law. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to tell you, those are things could cause major problems for our countries, especially when you have enemies around you who are fighting for your country, do not do it. Not everybody would have faith and wait and have God and said, leave it to God. Some people would rather to meet him halfway. So, all your foolish father, 
will beat up his children and his wife and throw them out when the neighbor opened up the door to them. And the neighbor got problem with him. It's only a matter of time. The neighbor will arm the wife or the children. And many catastrophe can happen to the father. So what I'm saying, the guy is living in Venezuela and Suriname and elsewhere. Run out from the country because of corrupt politicians and corrupt judges. Corrupt policemen who are supposed to protect them, beating them, killing them, put prisoners to kill them, and make it look like an accident to come up with an excuse and get them paper to sign because you put fear in them and you think you get off. I got a message for you. Nothing lasts forever and every dog have their day. Let us put these differences aside, unite, support the present leader we got, give him the opportunity to pull Guyana forward and let's join together and weed out the wicked, treacherous, devious, corrupt politicians, preachers, judges, police, businessmen, and others. We can do it. I think so. What do you think? It is up to you. And again, around the world, do the same. Join hands with your government who have the interest of the country at heart. And especially if they believe in something beyond themselves, which means the higher power. The higher power. Because all of us have to be demolished one day. Dead, buried, gone, and forgotten. No one knows who's going to wake up. Who's going to meet him? We don't even know the story is true or a myth. But we still believe in something and that's what got us holding on. So with that I want to say good night to all of you. Hope you enjoy it and the music. Nothing personal to my friends and family. And for those so-called leaders around the world and who pretend to be God gift but are more criminal than Hitler, Napoleon, Caesar, Nebuchadnezzar, put together and in the Hindu tradition, Mr. the man named Dasrat or Rawan or whatever you want to call him, because in Prophet Muhammad also fought against the Sunnis in his time and a spider saved his life. Christ had to walk from place to place. Moses drunk the Pharaoh and many great things. Let us do the right thing. How long will we got? You would not like a good name instead of a bad one? I do. Have a good night. I want to have good names even when I'm gone, so my generation could continue being blessed. Thank you.